In this video, we will cover how to export high-definition pictures and transparent backgrounds in Home Designer. With the Export Picture tool, we can use our 3D renderings to create print quality views using a variety of rendering techniques. These renderings can also be exported at resolutions larger than our screen resolution. To get started, let's go to File, Export, and then Export Picture. In this window, we can set our specifications. When Use Active Window Size is checked, the picture we export will be limited to the area we can see in our current camera view. This camera view is currently this height and width and this resolution. We can specify the dimensions in pixels or units. When specifying by units, we can set the resolution by pixels per inch or pixels per millimeter. In our example here, let's switch to using units for our dimensions. Now we can see that we have a 23 and 5 eighths inch by 11 and 15 sixteenths inch image with this resolution. And we can increase the resolution to get up to print quality resolutions as well as larger sizes. When resizing, we can choose whether or not we'd like to retain the aspect ratio or not. When exporting images from Home Designer, we can also choose to export them with a transparent background so that all objects in our view will export with the picture without including the backdrop. This also makes it possible to export pictures that have several objects, such as a standalone row of cabinets without the backdrop that would normally show in the camera, making it easy to create an image of select objects in our plan that we could then place into a brochure. In our next example here, we have a simple standalone house we wish to export as a transparent background image. However, the terrain is an object and would show in our transparent image. Since we will be excluding the terrain, we will cancel so that we can turn off the terrain perimeter layer to exclude the terrain from our exported image. To remove the terrain, we will open up our layer display options to find the terrain perimeter layer within our layer table. We can use the T key on the keyboard to skip straight to the layers beginning with T. Now that we've found the terrain perimeter layer, we will uncheck display to hide the terrain in our 3D view. Now when we export the image, all of the background will become transparent, which will make it easier to overlay this graphic onto other images. This technique can be quite useful when we need to create an image that can be superimposed over another image, like a custom site image, which we can create without having to use an expensive image editing program. Let's look at an extremely simple Mac and Windows example for how we can accomplish this. To start, we'll go to File, Export, and then Export Picture. Next, we can cut the size down quite a bit to make it easier to fit within the site image that we have. After checking our resolution, we'll check Transparent Background and we will check Open in Default Image Viewer so that we can see the image we've created instantaneously. We'll click OK, give our image a name, and save it. Notice in our Mac example, the image opened in the default image application for macOS called Preview. Right from here, we can right-click on the house image and use the Copy Subject option. Now, we can bring up an image of the customer's plot in a separate preview window. We'll now navigate to the Edit menu and select Paste to bring in our subject from the exported image. We can now resize and position this against our plot image. For a Windows example, we have our exported transparent background image open in our default image application for the Windows operating system called Photos. 
Now that we see this is successfully saved, we can close this window. And now we'll open up our customer's plot image in the simple paint program that comes with Microsoft Windows. In Paint, we can start a new separate layer for our house image. Now that we have created a new layer, we can navigate to the File menu, hover over Import to Canvas, and select From a File to once again bring in our subject from the exported image. Now that our house image is here, it's ready for us to resize and position this against our plot image. And since it is in another separate layer, this can be adjusted later if needed. And with that, we can now see what the transparent background feature does. And of course, when pairing this with some very high resolution image exports from Home Designer, it can be an easy way to create fairly sophisticated professional post-production renderings.